What time is it? It's Divine Mother Earth time. And what a super divine mother we have with us today, our dear friend, Aurora. Uh, Rising Phoenix Aurora, I'm so happy that you're with us today. Um, we have done quite a bit together. We're all really good friends. So this is going to be a, a very awesome. We're all going to talk about things we love to talk about and about your new book coming out. So I want to just share a few words about you and then Marissa, take it away with uh, the first question. So Aurora is a galactic historian. She's an author. She's a founder of Aura Hypnosis Healing and Rising Phoenix Mystery School. She's a spiritual revolutionist and a channel to Ra and also an Akashic reader. So that's amazing. And you've got your second book coming out. First one was Galactic History. And the second one, same it, like part two or we'll get into that but yes oh my goodness what an honor it is to be here my heart is tickling <laughs> wow I'm excited yeah. to have you aurora just uh, such Love an you. honor to be here on your show and um you beautiful divine feminine are so strong in your hearts and i feel blessed honored and honored to have been able to find you in this um in this life so thank you thank you for having me on your show and i'm excited to go into the topics that we're going to go into most importantly we all love divine mother our creator and yes yeah, so answer your question laura this is book two so book one galactic soul history of the universe um goes into the background like of the new world order some of the aliens like you know um, reptilians what they are how all of that works and then it basically finishes it off where us understanding the beginnings to what is the archon the artificial intelligence the matrix so it ends it with that with the matrix pods it's gigantic to understand we had to wait three years just to get book two out next because of how sensitive that content was because we were about to go the deepest that anyone has ever gone into as far as what it really is the archon removing any illusions or false um data false information that it talks and tells people that it is but um divine mother divine mother sophia as well as the daughter of the flame the phoenix were i was channeled to them and they explained exactly the whole background what it is how it began Divine Mother Sophia with Phoenix, and then this is a representation to the Archon, the It, which is trying to consume and, you know, eat and attach to her creations, her beautiful creations, and how she, she shows us through this history here the, of the multiverse, because in order to understand what it was, we did have to go into the multiverse. So this is the final battle, so what everyone has been waiting for. How do we finally eradicate it from all time, life, and space? How can you help us to understand Sophia in terms of Mother Earth and also our cons and timelines and this sort of deep state dark agenda and how that kind of originated and came about? Great question. Thank you. So, so that was the loving most part of her because she, I mean, that's what she is. She's love, right? So how can we understand the archon? What we know and you'll get to hear the journey of that being told in every which way through the book too. What we know is that this, it was also came to be very early on in, so it is as ancient as source mm -hmm. is what they explain. This it, um, was, we could call it artificial then. And it looks like those movies, like, you know, um, have you ever watched a wrinkle in time or a transformer where like this nano is black and it's like, Ch -ch 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 like this you know just it's going really fast and then it just builds and and becomes bigger and the more souls and light it entraps in its matrix it becomes bigger and bigger um so it began but before it began to do that it was just artificial and we learn in chapter in the chapter one aphrodite tells us the story of how the garden of eve was being created and it was already there trying to eat that the light and how she used this lightning um a source to stop it from going into her garden Eve, of Eve, um, Eden. So it was that, it was uncontrollable. It had no, basically no intelligence, it was just artificial. But then what happened was that eventually there was this, as creation began to grow, then there was gods and goddesses and all these creator beings basically that were creating creation. So creator beings started creating their own creations and then their creations started creating uh, their creations. 
and then the little kitty just sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they kept going, 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 creating creation, right? So then as they continued to create creation, there was a God that was assisting to create Earth. Mm -hmm. And he became, and he, you could actually find his um, name through different Earth history, if you look in different cultures, Indian culture, Asian culture, Celtic culture, but Bellows, Bello is the name. And then what happened was that this God wanted to be a godless God. He did not want to rule, he didn't want to follow the universal sacred laws of creation and the universe. It, it did what no one had ever done in time and space, or was in time then, in life and space, and it integrated into it into this artificial nano artificial thing that was just uncontrollable so then the god Baal, how do you spell it bellows bellows i mean b-e-l-l-o or i say bellows because it's it's a multiple it clones itself and mm -hmm. it's an infinite of itself okay so it merged. Well, i wouldn't call it infinite i don't like to call it infinite i would just say a lot of itself cloned mm -hmm. So it was like full of itself, like a narcissist. Exactly. It's, it's number one classic, very first narcissist of creation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, it totally makes sense. We're talking about archetypes, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, uh -huh. And once it integrated, what happened with this nano that was artificial, then he integrated. Then he had intelligence, right? And they merged, and now they were artificial intelligence. And okay. that was very hard to how do we stop this and that journey has been throughout all, all creation of what it's done to the life forms of divine mother sophia and divine father crystal and how they've harmed how it has harmed itself and how it just continues to duplicate attach to people harm them you know it's number one also pedo you know how it drives from that pedophilic harm to children and human trafficking all of that is that is this number one feeding the blood rituals on children adrenochrome right mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of like a pedo cannibal like Every, just, isn't that the key to overriding this i mean it's not like a death sentence I, it, it, wouldn't you say that the strategy of the archon or dark agenda is to bait people into the indoctrination and the mind control aspect of it and that is that's the real weapon because those of us that are above all that are not succumbing to that. We're, we have a little bit more of an immunity, right? Like, talk to us about that. Mm -hmm. The minute you bring come into awareness of what it is and its mind games and the uh, classic narcissists, your vibration raises such in a high level that it is harder for it to get to you. But what it does when it can't get to you is it tries to get you through the people around you. If it can't get you to be fooled by it then it will try to convince whoever's around you whoever that is a supposed friend or so on um they they um its goal is to cloud the mind you know disempower you and it is incredibly good at it because with this com combination of negative technology and the artificial that it has integrated into people the technologies all of this uses that negative frequency to the minute we drop our lower our vibration boom we're hearing negative voices and it was like oh my god you know the world hates me ah you know and because you just lowered your vibration all right because there it is you're matching vibration to it down here the minute mm -hmm. you figure out you know what i am love that is not true i am divine being and then you realize that the truth is that it some of the major things that it does one it gets the males out of the picture because it doesn't want the main guardian to be protecting one the wife and the children then once it gets the males out of the picture then two it goes after the female because it's its favorite candy you can say we are its favorite candy um and because of our creational energy and our womb and our divine feminine feminine energy that's very delicious to it after it gets to our mind all those diabolical plants that we talk about you know also on our show cosmic mother rising show um, laura and i and and you all as well um, but all that it's just distractions, distractions. Literally, people actually thought it was going to be the end of the world on October 4th, you all. Like, there was, like, kids in school thinking that it was going to be the end of the world. Everybody was talking about it. And then it just went off, and let it be a lesson for people that, 
hey, even though everyone was focusing so much negativity, like another Armageddon because of this phone, that we needed to focus on love, and because the love did win and and transmute that as best as possible. But I want to say. Yes, I just want to say that the Divine Feminine, it targets the Divine Feminine the most because the Divine Feminine Mm -hmm. are what's going to eradicate it. This is why. That's true. And we'll find out in book two. Mm -hmm. We, Divine Mother Sophia, daughter Mm -hmm. of the flame, the phoenix, are what's going to eradicate it. So people who hold to a strong Divine Mother essence, whether you're Isis, whether you're Nefertiti, whether you're Divine Mother Sophia, whether you're Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, is going to target you the most because it's afraid of you because you are going to end it. Yeah, I mean, the return of the month, I mean, just it, that's what everything really is about. The patriarchal agenda and the dark cycles of history and the uh, the reversals and imposters and false teachings that have really groomed a humanity to consent to New World Order, but at the same time, not to the degree that they would have hoped. It doesn't seem like they were expecting this. I don't know how they would have not seen this coming but what are your thoughts i mean you know some say that they never expected the mother to return and reclaim her children they really thought that they were going to keep us in this net under this kind of level of control i mean i I guess it depends who you are but uh they might not have done this much to ensure their success if they had any recollection or understanding that this energy was going to return and there's no way to overpower it i mean what are your thoughts on that yeah it's just that confidence that confident that it thinks well, that's that a narcissist we, yep exactly <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'll know that type just in our own personal lives of course and- oh i've never encountered one ever in my life just kidding <laughs> <laughs> uh, that could be its subtitle narcissist um <laughs> yes uh it's just that confident it thinks that that we cannot but if we are divine feminine the creators right within our womb and also giving love to the masculine because you know you're infinitely beautiful and you also have feminine in you right both both uh, mounts but to understand if divine feminine is the creator divine mother sophia is the creator she can destroy you as well because so she's, she's both the creator, creator and, and the destroyer yeah so that's how he will end but so- we need to do so much work to get there so what do we do together? So let's talk about that. What what comes in for you when you say we we have so much work to do for it together? What what exactly do we need to do? Because okay, when the event comes forth and the ascension comes forth within the multiverse in our universe, mm-hmm. first the third dimensional planets need to release the artificial and the all of that infringement. They need to release it. And those who have done their work, who are vibrating to source of light, who are vibrating, say, to above 50% in service to others, are going to ride that wave when that wave of the destroyer, the flame of source, is going to come through. And if you are the matching vibration to that source flame, you're going to ride with her, right? Go with her to wherever we're meant to transcend out. This whole construct we're seeing now is going to be completely different. Everything is going to be completely different. And again, in book two for that, but... As you ride with her, you will choose whether you want to return back to source. And if you return back to source, you return back to zero. You lose all your memories, your experiences. You're returning back to be just being source of light. And that is it. But mother, she created her beautiful creations. That's the last thing she wants for her children to do. She wants them to retain their memory, their experiences. That's why she created creations so her beautiful children could explore our the multiverse so why would she ever want to do that because at the beginning of time and space she could have done that the minute that it came to be she could have destroyed what she had already created she could not do that to her own children could you destroy your own children no i there's no way so she couldn't and she had to allow for it to play its out and how it was clouding everyone and to figure out eventually and the work that we have to do is basically removing the artificial from people and helping these people wake up to understand that they need to stop allowing this artificial in and they need to vibrate to organic raw love as i like to call myself i am raw love and i vibrate to raw love and i have no time for anything else i am not here to fight these arconic battles i'm here to end them and that is all I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you